Hello everybody, so good evening, so here is Chris Salotus channel, I didn't forget about you and today <coughs> we will do a new video, <laughs> excuse me if I wasn't available for a week like this because I was very busy and also I had a small influence, I couldn't talk very much and uh, before we start uh, this video I would like to uh, recommend you to subscribe on the channel, on Chris Salotus channel and uh, do a simple click subscribe is easy and it's for free and also uh, comment below just be polite and also you can follow us in facebook and instagram instagram is crystal, Lo crystal lotus hk just follow us and we'll be very happy to hear about you and uh, why you love stones and many things so thank you very much for watching this so let us start the the <coughs> the, the, the today video <coughs> so today we will do the second part of the shungite stone I already did the first part and was more like a historical, more information, what it is all about and from where it has come, this black gold, this special one with full and air. And now I would like to know, let, let you know about my personal experience with meditation and what I feel about this stone or what I think about this stone, if I agree what is going on everything. Well, first of all, let's just start. The Shungai, so don't forget, it's a very simple black stone. It's a black uh, coal, like this. It looks like tumble flat stone. Or the allied uh, noble, the special one, rare one, the more costly one, noble shungite. <coughs> and then there are these beautiful pyramids. So this is only not to forget about it. So, and uh, I will be holding this beautiful skull. It has been energized by the, one of the ancient uh, crystal skulls. Its name is Energy. It's a Lemurian quartz skull, but I just hold this with me. This is my personal skull. So about Shungite, how to start? <clears throat> when I heard uh, the first time about the Shungite uh, stone, uh, I wasn't much sure about this, if it was true or not, because people were going like crazy, you know, saying, oh, this is the elixir stone, this is gonna heal you, and uh, the element the, the toxic, and all the iron, all the heavy, heavy material in, in your body, to clean your body off from inflation, and uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little bit, and so a strong voice because I'm still a bit stuck here. <laughs> so in inflammation and uh, for skin disease and, and uh, healing for cancer and all. I wasn't sure I said a lot of black coal, you know. But Shungite has something very interesting, it's the full and air. So it doesn't have any other uh, mineral in the world, I think. It has this special mineral inside the, um, the Shungite has the full and air. <clears throat> And also that is a very old rock, one of the oldest rock in the, in the world. It's not the oldest. I mean, there are a lot of them, but it's not the oldest. There's still another one, which I will talk next week, and we're going to go to Greenland. And that's Numite. Numite or Numite, how you pronounce it. And from Greenland, one of my favorites. But this is another topic, another video for next week. And it's going to be surprise also. Where the location? So now about the Shungite, yeah. <clears throat> So Shungite is 2 billion years old, so it's a very old rock and it's quite a huge amount available because 250 gigatons, you can't even imagine, it's so much. And um, so then uh, my experience was only to, uh, I, I started with the rough stones and the pyramids. This was what I started to, to, to see and to feel in, in shop and, and look for a long time. Well, about the rough stones, I didn't feel anything so special about this. No, it's a black stone. And coal has been always used for, for uh, healing, for water, alexi, like this. No more coal. But this one is even more special. No? <coughs> and, uh, and the pyramid is also very special because it's a black pyramid. And it's very grounding and for protection from all the negativities, radiations, uh, from geopathic zone, which is not confirmed by the scientists, but who cares? This is what we feel and what we do, and for uh, for for uh, entities protection, for ghost protection, <coughs> psychic attacks, and so on. It's really good one, strong. It's not that very strong as a tourmaline, black tourmaline, obsidian, but shungite is yet strong stone because it's an old stone and old rock has a lot of information. And the thing is that uh, it is soft, so you can do many many different sh um, car carvings. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cold. You can do many, many carvings. So you can do pyramids, uh, balls are available, cubes, and uh, different shapes. 
but Skull, it's quite rare. Why? <clears throat> I was waiting for a long time for any Skull to have in shop for sale or for uh, myself. It took me some years. It took me uh, three, four years to find any Skull. And it's not so cheap. I mean, not that very expensive as a Ruby or a Zafir Skull, but not, not that cheap. And the thing is, when I asked the Carver, I have some contacts with Carver. <coughs> there are two problems. One is the carving, it's a coal, so it makes dirty the machine, it gets all black the machine and it's very difficult to clean the, 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 the wheel and it gets stuck and sticky and everything and everything is dirty, everything is black. I saw myself a carver, which did, <laughs> it was really a mess. So, you know, carver said, no, 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 I would not work with Shungite to make a skull, you know. I would prefer to make a pyramid and ball, that's much more easier to, to, to do. And second thing, it's not everywhere is uh, allowed to import or export coal. So, you know, there's also this law. So, you need some kind of paper, I don't know, so something. <clears throat> so, so I found a skull of this. And then suddenly I start to realize it's really very special. It's very, very unique. The energy is very intensive. And with a skull, the shape of a skull, <coughs> it amplifies everything. And uh, it goes deeper, no? It goes deeper than, than, a, than a rock. Only a rock like this, it's a fantastic stone for your pocket to have a protection. It's very cheap and uh, you can get for a few bucks, you know, for two, three dollars, five dollars. I have it in my shop, it's no problem, available, there, plenty. And in your pocket for protection from all those negativities, uh, negative entities and ghosts and, and all these things which in our daily life we get influenced. But a skull, it goes deeper, you know? So, first of all, it's a black skull, no? <clears throat> so, it's a black skull. So, excuse me, I have a daughter here, so, you know, making some sound. So, it's a black skull. A black skull, um, basically, I've noticed, because I have not only rocks to sell and crystals, but crystal skulls, this is my main tema. I will go more deeper in, in future videos, but now just I'm talking about. Uh, it's a black skull, <clears throat> so I've uh, noticed and uh, observed. People are more open when it's a crystal or a rose quartz or amethyst uh, in a skull and they are fine. But when it's a black, they go scared, oh, it's a black skull, it's uh, dangerous. Or something of their past, which, you know, could have uh, remembered in their memories, you know. And uh, <clears throat> especially the black obsidian, this is the one which touches the people's heart because the Mayan, Aztec, yes, the German, the German Nazi, but they didn't use obsidian, but they used onyx, black onyx. So, you know, they they use quite a lot of those stone skulls for not a very good purpose, I think, for some manipulation and control. But the skull is not all about this. It's about unconditional love to open your heart and to go deeper. So when, when you have a black skull or a black ball, <clears throat> it means nothingness, emptiness. <clears throat> because in the, in the black, the void, there is nothing, emptiness. Um, it means, like a Buddhist point of view, it our mind gets empty, empty from everything, from all our daily thinking, activities, and uh, everything. And to start again <clears throat> with a new thinking, new uh, perspective, no? And, uh, and the Shungite, uh, it is really very grounding, <laughs> really on, 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 the, on the base chakra, really grounding, <clears throat> really on the earth. And it's also cleaning. It cleans a lot. It cleans your body, your soul, your your mind, and uh, it's cleaning. <coughs> and uh, so this is what it does. And as a skull is even more intensive. If you have a pyramid, for example, <coughs> a pyramid. This is quite a large size, so you can get smaller ones. We have available three centimeter, five centimeter. This is almost eight centimeter. You can get bigger ones, there's no problem. We can have for you. You can pre-order, we can have 20 centimeter, 25. You can have also the balls, we have small and big ones. A pyramid has all the, the, this special shape. It's connected with the edges, with the, with the Giza pyramid, the biggest, the largest pyramid known in, in the world. It's still standing there in Cairo and, and the other pyramids. <coughs> it has the five elements, you no know, water, Earth, fire, air, and ether. The universe is up, so this gets connected with the universe. It's everything assembled in the, in the pyramid. 
and in the pyramid <clears throat> the pharaoh used to have the initiations and uh, special ceremonies and then when they died <clears throat> they used to put in sarcophag and put in their pyramids you know different uh, pharaohs at different pyramids or special places so, so then <clears throat> so this is what i want to today to share about you about the spiritual and meditative experience with the Shun guide and I would like to know what you think about it and how did you meditate with a skull or with a ball or with a pyramid and please be kind with the comment below don't don't harass like this because you're blocked because we don't want people who, you know who are here only bothering mm. and of course you are most welcome in this channel and if you don't like this video or anything no problem you can join another video and, and it's no problem it's like Night TV you know just change the channel and that's it so this is what I wanted to share to you. I think that's uh, everything. So the most important thing is I want to say that <clears throat> Shungite is for uh, protection for against the uh, negativities, uh, psychic attack, the ghost, and, and the black magic and stuff like this. It protects you from not to get harmed. <coughs> Sorry. At the same time to be grounded and uh, to go deep of your soul. It says also it's a stone of uh, of deep secrets, so, so you can imagine what the really does. And uh, Shungite not only that for protection, it gives vitality, energy for you for your body. Your key energy, your key, the key <laughs> means uh, energy or prana. It gets activated, it gets uh, healed or harmonized or how you want to say a better word than <clears throat> healing, harmonized. So it's a super stone. It's grounding. Uh, vitality protection so you have everything it's really great and it doesn't do any any harm to you it's for any level it's not like obsidian where you need to be careful you know because obsidian sucks the, your energy <coughs> and can can reflect on you the, the dark side <coughs> your dark behaviors and uh, of your past and fear and all the stuff and with obsidian you need to be careful black obsidian more the, the rainbow and the, the, the silver it's more softer or the snowflakes that's more softer but this is another video we will talk about obsidian also it's another my favorite stone i love obsidian especially the rainbow and the silver and uh, this is everything for for shungai today i'm so uh, thankful for you to watching this video and supporting and and uh, commenting and sharing and uh, i'm very thankful and i wish you a wonderful day or evening <coughs> so namaste crystal lotus channel and arjini and greco